Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This particular video is going to show you how to use StatCrunch to create confidence intervals for both means and for proportions. Now to do this example I'm going to use a data set that I already have called the Female Health Data Set. And this data set is filled with only females and has a number of different variables. So the first question that we're going to look at is select a random sample of 35 females from our larger data set. And our data set has a lot more than 35 females in it, but we want just 35 of those females. And we're going to be looking for the age as our variable. So in other words, we want to go into our data set and grab 35 random ages from our whole group of female ages. That's our first step. And then using the information from this sample and assuming that our data set is a random sample of all females, we want to estimate the age of all females by using a 95% level of confidence. Okay, so let's see how that works in StatCrunch. So here in StatCrunch, this is my age variable. But before I start, I actually have to generate a smaller sample of all of the ages that I have here. And here's how you do that. First you click on Data. And then you click on Sample Columns. Because we want to grab a sample from one of our columns. After we click Sample Columns, it, a StatCrunch will ask you which one of your columns do you want to sample, what sample size do you want, how many samples do you want, and so on. We want to keep it simple. We just want one sample from our age column. We want our sample size to be 35. We only want one sample. In this case, it's asking, do you want to sample with replacement? Meaning every time you grab a value, you put that value back. So you could literally get the same value over and over and over. That is a possibility. But in our case, I'd rather sample without replacement. I'd rather grab almost a subset of 35 of these data points from my age variable. However, it depends on your application as to whether you want to use replacement or not. And I'm going to leave everything else the way it is. And then I'm going to click Sample Columns, because I just really want to grab 35 elements out of that column. So what StatCrunch is telling me now is that a new column called sample age has been added to this table that I'm working on. All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to scroll all the way over to the right. And if I do that, I can actually see that there's a brand new column that's been added. Let me see if you can actually see that. There's a brand new column that's been added called sample age. I make sure that's actually completely visible. This is the column that we're going to use, and you can see that this column actually has fewer data points than all the rest of our columns. All right, so now that we know it's there, we know that it's over there, our next step, once we create our sample, is to create that 95% confidence interval using that sample mean. So the way we do that is we choose stat, and then we're going to choose the t statistic, one sample, and this is going to be with our data because we created a new data column. So once we choose that, we're going to tell StatCrunch which data column we want to use. Don't get confused and use age because you don't want to use that one. You want to scroll down until it gives you that new column called sample age that we've just created. That's the one I want to use. And then you have to click Next. If you forget to do that, it'll just run a t-test for you and you won't know what happened. So we'll click Next. And in this case, I don't want to run a hypothesis test. I want a confidence interval. So I'll choose this option. This is a 95% confidence interval that I want. So 0.95 is correct and is the default. I'll choose Next again to see what the other option is. Do I want to store the output in a data table? No, I really don't. I just want to calculate it. So I'm going to choose Calculate. And this actually gives me the 95% confidence interval. 
and you'll see that it's telling me the lower bound of the confidence interval is 29.46. The upper bound of my confidence interval is 38.14 approximately. So that's the 95% confidence interval around a population mean for the ages of females based on the sample that I took from this data set. So that's the set of steps that you need to find a 95% confidence interval for a smaller subset of data in your data set. All right, so that is the end of example one. Let's move on to example two. In example two, we're going to be looking at confidence intervals for proportions using StatCrunch. So in this case, assume that the female health data set is a random sample of all females, and we want to estimate the proportion of all females who are under 22 years old using an 80% level of confidence. All right, now in this case, I don't need a smaller subset of data from my sample. That's, I'm just going to use my entire data set. And I need, though, to know how many of the females in my data set are actually under 22. Because this little notion of under 22 actually separates my data set into two disjoint portions. All the females that are under 22, and then all the females that are over 22. And so the proportion of females that are under 22 will actually be 22 divided by the total number of females. So you want to make sure when you're calculating proportions that you're remembering that they're not means, they're actually proportions. So in my first step in StatCrunch, I need to know how many of my females are actually under 22 years old. And in order to figure that out, I'm going to need to pull up a frequency table. So let's see what that looks like. So in StatCrunch, I go into Stat. And then I'm going to go down until I find tables. And then I'm going to choose frequency. Now, what I'm looking for here is I want to know how many women are under 22. So if I create a frequency table for the age of women, I'll get a whole list of information and I can see how many of the females are under 22. So I'll click Calculate. And it gives me a whole list of all the females. I've got one at 12 years old, one at 16 years old, one at 17, and so on. But I want all the ones under 22. So I want these. That's two, three, four, five, six. Six total females in my data set are under 22. So, and if I want, I can actually count all of these up to find out the total number of females, but I'm going to do that a faster way. So, so far I know that six of my females are under 22. The other thing I want to know is how many females are there. There's a couple ways that I can do that. I can use summary statistics, or I can just scroll down to the bottom of my data set and see how much data is listed here. I have exactly 40 part points of data, so I have 40 women listed here. The other way I can do that is I can click on stat, summary stats for my column. I can just click female and calculate, and it'll tell me that n is 40. So that's how many females I have here total. All right, so so far I know that I've got 22 female, I'm sorry, I've got six females under 22, and I've got 40 females total. So so far I know that my sample proportion of females and I'll actually scroll down a little bit, is 6 out of 40, which is about 0.15. So that's my sample proportion. But what I'd like to do next is I'd like to get an 80% confidence interval for the proportion of females under 22 in general. So let's see how we do that in StatCrunch. So I'm going for a confidence interval about my proportion. So I click on Stat, Proportions, One Sample, and I want to do this with summary, because I have the data points and the information that I need. So I click with summary, and then it asks for two things, the number of successes and the number of observations. Well, I'm looking for women under 22. So women under 22 are considered a success. That's the, that word is a weird word, but that's what it means. Well, I have six women under 22 in my data set, so I'm going to put six in there. 
the total number of observations is the total number of women. I've got 40 women total. So that's the number of women under 22 I have in my sample. That's the number of women I have total. I have to click next, otherwise this won't work. When I click next, again, I don't want a hypothesis test. I want a confidence interval. And I don't want a 95% confidence interval. I want an 80% confidence interval. So I type in 0 0.80. This is fine. I'll click next just to make sure. I don't care about storing the data elsewhere, so I'll click calculate. And now it tells me, based on my sample of six women out of 40 being under 22, the confidence interval around the population proportion is between 0 0.0776 and up to 0 0.222, etc. Remember, these are proportions. My sample proportion is 0.15, but the lower bound of my 80% confidence interval proportion is 0 0.077 up to 0 0.222. So that's how you determine a confidence interval about a proportion. All right, that's it, and thank you so much for joining me.